Hi everybody, my name is Anton Vasilescu and I'm the creator of the Ant Traffic Simulator script. Um, I received uh, two questions regarding the script. One was um, what would happen if the splines are actual closed splines instead of straight lines on uh, kind of like the way I demonstrate in all the other videos. And so I've set up this scene here that looks like a little kind of round uh, closed track with uh, two pads on it and we're going to add some uh, vehicles and the other question was uh, regarding um, um, some weird movement that was happening in uh, in uh, one of the video tutorials that I, that I showed um, and uh, basically it was on the main video tutorial that I did and at um, minute 25 uh, 25.50 I believe to 26 uh, you would see this bus kind of going around the corner and uh, kind of like moving in a really weird um, manner and basically that's only a display issue and I'm gonna uh, show you uh, show it in here really quickly so basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open up the script create uh, create a rig for this type of vehicle and click click the build rig and right now that we have the vehicle uh, set, what I'm going to do, instead of um, just uh, setting it to a path, I'm going to do a quick keyframe animation. Uh, so I'm going to move this one a little bit away out of out there. Uh, actually, the wrong way. So that's at zero. And let's move this one here to 100. And right now, if I play this, you'll see that it has all this weird jerky movement happening in, in there. So that's because the screen controller tries to calculate all the movement happening while I'm recording and uh, the, 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 uh, I, my, my laptop it's not necessarily the, the fastest machine and it's uh, not necessarily designed for 3D. So uh, basically um, right now you saw how it actually plays, it's all jerky and weird, but if we go here and make a quick uh, animated sequence file, you'll see that the actual movement is smooth. Once you render it and when you uh, kind of set it up for, uh, for, uh, for animation, you'll be able to see that it's actual smooth movement. So it slowly takes off and smoothly goes into a stop. So basically that was the first issue and let's do this and let's look at this track. So basically for this track I want to show other thing that I haven't showed in the, in the, uh, the other tutorials that I've made. So basically here I have a group, um, a, a group of separate objects that uh, are creating my terrain. Yeah, so basically I close this group now when I when I go to the script and go to the environment setup when I said create run from selection if I have the object selected you'll see uh, it, uh, it gives me the message that the uh, conform space modifier was created and it actually creates this uh, object here and I saw the selection, you see that the full terrain all welded together, uh, all attached together as uh, one object to, to be used in the uh, uh, in, in our simulations. So let's let's hide the initial terrain. If I can only select it. And now that we have this new terrain, let's make it again visible. So go select the conform object, pick the terrain to be used, and right now we're ready to, to set up our animation. So what I'm going to do really quickly here, I'm going to show you with uh, only one vehicle. So 
basically I'm gonna build a rig, a regular rig for the four wheel vehicle. I'm not gonna add body dynamics because this is kind of like a far away shot and uh, build a rig. And now I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to the environment setup and choose link selected rig to path and then um, link selected rig to terrain and right now we have the vehicle going on the terrain pretty much so if we go from the beginning and hit play you'll see the vehicle goes all around the track really really quickly and it loops properly with no problems, uh, no issues there. So basically, those are the two things that I wanted to talk to in uh, this uh, this quick video tutorial. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me, and I'll try to respond to them as soon as possible and create this uh, create these little videos to to help everybody understand exactly how the script works and. Uh, how can uh, how can you actually use it and uh, make your scenes faster and better? So uh, thanks again for uh, uh, asking the questions, and uh, I hope you enjoy it and have fun. Thank you.